<laughs> what is the most physical pain you've ever felt? I once had second and third degree burns on my stomach from scalding hot water. The water was so hot it seared the metal button of my jeans to the area. It was so painful I kept trying to escape the pain by checking out mentally, but I couldn't. As a child I was forced to walk on a broken leg across a playground and through an elementary school to the principal's office. I had jumped off the monkey bars only for my leg to get caught and break. Had a teacher's assistant find me on the ground only to scream at me for ditching career and dragged me to the principal's office. I had a kidney stone that hurt so so bad, it felt like my insides were being ripped up. 7 stitches in the arch of my foot without anesthetic. Sciatica, no relief from it either no matter how I tried to sit, stand, or lie down. Kidney stone I fantasized about running out of the emergency room and throwing myself in front of a bus. I was not prepared for how much grief would physically hurt. Kidney stone, I had an IED that went off next to me once and gave me a lifetime supply of headaches, I would still choose the headaches and the threat of imminent death over another kidney stone. Gallstones, was actually nausea from the pain. Kidney stone, and when I peed it out and saw the size I couldn't believe the amount of pain such a tiny thing could cause lol. Tooth pain, or ripping from birth. Endometriosis, there were some times when I hoped I would get hit by a car walking across the street because then I would be given pain medication. Somewhere between when both bones in my forearm broke in half and when the medical team had to set those broken bones back in place. Lumbar puncture, good god, that hurt, they couldn't find the spinal fluid and were digging around for 10 minutes, felt like my entire body was on fire, literally screaming in pain, never again. I'll give you my top 3. 3, fell up the stairs and landed all my weight on my left foot, dislocated all of my toes shattered my metatarsal, and tore the ligaments, known medically as Lee's Frank, I still sport a metal plate and nine screws in my foot, which hilariously set off metal detectors. 2. Sliced the tip of my middle finger off while cooking, that wasn't the painful part, went to the ER and they tried to chemically cauterize it with silver nitrate, three times, when that didn't work, they decided to do a single stitch, I had two options, get a needle in the fingertip to numb it, or just have the doctor do this stitch with no numbing, I opted for the second option, fun. 1. After having a wisdom tooth pulled, I got dry socket, went to the dentist to get it cleaned out, as he's working to clean out the hole in my mouth, he accidentally clangs his metal instrument against my exposed jawbone, it felt like I got struck by lightning and my brain exploded, everything went instantly black and when I came to my hands were giving the death grip to my dentist's wrist, they decided to novocaine me to finish the job, had a headache for days. My internal defibrillator going off. I've had a burst appendix that went misdiagnosed for 4 days, I can't really remember that pain, I just remember not being able to stand up straight, in my recent memory it has to be when I had both my thighs tattooed, my toes were involuntarily curling, I thought I was going to pre out. Waking up in the middle of emergency surgery where I was cut all the way across my tummy at 16 many years ago but reminded by the scar every day. Kidney stones, OMG, had a few over the years, crying like a baby for a couple of them, mom said she'd rather give birth, at least the contractions give you a rest. Giving birth and the after effects. I never believe any woman that tells you oh, you forget all about the pain. No the heck you don't. Blood clot dislodging behind my knee. Sweet mother of frick, the impending doom and pain. Tried to get toast out of the toaster with a fork. I have gout, by far the worst pain was a flare-up that lasted for almost two weeks, I would be up at 3am in tears and heavy sweats from the pain, I am allergic to NSAIDs so I couldn't even take any anti-inflammatory drugs. IUD insertion, was given no pain medication at all told it would be just a momentary pinch by my doctor, it feels like someone is pulling out your insides via cooch, I only remember screaming and begging them to stop, throwing up, and then passing out in my vomit to only be told that it was a normal reaction, then followed by a couple months of heavy bleeding and cramping that was so bad I would throw up and pray out from the pain at work and just wallow around in my bed for hours wondering. Why I ever went through with getting it, 
I got it done three years ago and still have nightmares about the experience, and remember every day the feeling of trying to wiggle away and begging the doctor and nurses to stop and let me go. Can't say I'm looking forward to getting it removed when the time is up. One time I was pooping and somehow farted in the middle of it, felt like a tiny explosion. Kidney infections so bad it could have burst if I had waited any longer. Full spine fusion at 18, was not fun. Walked on a bad hip for 26 months waiting for surgery, working physical labor on concrete floors didn't help. Shingles in my 40s get your vax if you're over 50. I shattered my elbow into 11 pieces with a freak basketball injury, as much as it hurt it was nothing compared to the physical therapy I had to take to get its use back. Childbirth, nothing in this world comes close to childbirth I was literally screaming and crying and took hours to push my daughter out, there's nothing in this world more painful the pain of childbirth. Infected full bony horizontal wisdom teeth, infected with sepsis, no medical care for 5 days straight, pure agony. Tonsils removed at age 25, man that hurt, felt like someone stabbed me every time I swallowed saliva let alone food, tore out hair from my scalp, not even kidding. My mother thought I was going away for good, she thought she'd never see me again and she cried like I've never seen, that pain of seeing her cry still haunts me. In terms of immediate, intense pain, tearing my scrotum open on a ski pole was pretty bad. In terms of ongoing, annoying, Deeply frustrating pain, probably the time I had scabies, would not recommend. Cluster headache plus migraine. I just wanted to end it right then and there. I regularly have migraines and unfortunately sometimes I have clusters, but this one time oh god I didn't know what to do, it all. Started as a mild headache that evolved to a small migraine that turned to a bad migraine, and to top that off I then got the devil itself on top the damn cluster headache. I ended up laying on the floor in complete darkness crying of the pain which increased pressure in head and made it worse, I was shaking seizure like because of the pain, threw up a couple times, lying in a pile of sweaters every time my heart beat the pain would pulse with intensity of pure hell. It was such a pain that I can't even properly describe how it felt, the medications didn't help until I tripled the dosage then after around 4 hours it started to release. And holy hell what a release, I felt like I had been awake for 14 days running a marathon and been to war at the same time. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. I popped two staples out post Achilles rupture surgery when I slipped on a wet floor. Retroperitoneal lymph node dissection, I woke up screaming begging for them to put me back under, they did. Trigeminal neuralgia, it's worse than childbirth. Anal fissure. Before I got the surgery to correct it, I almost passed out on the toilet a bunch of times during bowel movements. Imagine little paper cut like tears on your butthole and then the muscle contractions of pooping and asterisk also the poop asterisk keeps opening them up again and again. It's a sensitive area and it's way more common than you think, people just often don't like talking about their buttholes. Anyways, that was it, absolutely awful, if you ever think you have a fissure, do everything possible to fix it before it gets worse, even then, sometimes your actions don't help. I had my head crushed by over 900 pounds of steel, broke all my orbital bones, cheekbones, multiple skull fractures, broken jaw in 8 places, 100% would not recommend. Once upon a time I had a catheter in after surgery and I was having hallucinations delusions as a reaction to the painkiller I was on, I became convinced that I was the incredible Hulk and tore the restraints off the bed, while the nurses struggled to restrain the Hulk I noticed the tube in my penis and decided that it had to go, that is a pain that whatever painkiller I was on was insufficient to suppress and the Hulk quickly laid back down whimpering. You would think that was the most physical pain I've ever felt, but it pales in comparison to cluster headaches. But those are boring, so you got the, Hulk tear out penis tube, story instead. I stepped on a wooden stick when I was 15, and to take it out the hospital numbed the surface, because it was a puncture wound in the bottom of my foot, they couldn't numb anything but the surface, so I felt the whole thing come out of my foot, felt like every nerve was being played like a harp. A titus, my entire skull was palpitating omg. 
When I had lung surgery after a second spontaneous pneumothorax, essentially they went in, scarred the outside of my lung and the inside of my chest cavity, and then they healed together. The recovery from that was by far the most pain I have ever been in. In 2015 I got hit by a car, as a pedestrian, and landed in the middle of the road, about a minute later after feeling no pain apart from the initial impact, I got up to walk to the side of the road to get out of the way and said to the people around me that I was okay, sat down to wait for medical attention and within maybe 10 minutes I was in absolute agony and couldn't move, hospital told me nothing was wrong and sent me home, Q3 weeks of not being able to move and the most pain I've ever felt, went back. Turned out I'd broken my spine and they somehow missed it face with tears of joy worst three weeks of my life. Close second was when my midwife misjudged placing a cannula during labor and shoved the needle straight into my thumb joint with force, that was worse than giving birth.